Not long ago, this halfway house in Agadez housed migrants looking to find their way across the Sahara and onto Europe. On the walls are messages from those who've passed through its doors. This ghetto was one of the biggest in Agadez. It was built to accommodate between 50 and 100 people, but 500 were living here. Every Monday, trucks would come and pick people up, but there would always be at least 200 left. Less than a year ago, Agadez was booming, a hub for smuggling networks that profited from desperate migrants. But that was before the European Union partnered with Niger's government to bankroll a crackdown on the trade. The International Organization for Migration says migrant numbers have fallen dramatically. Only 1,500 refugees crossed Niger in November, down from 70,000 in May. Authorities have seized scores of vehicles and arrested more than 100 suspected smugglers for migration-linked corruption. Despite this, it's too early to declare the strategy a success. We fear that there are more migrants who are dying in the desert, but that alone will not discourage them from trusting smugglers or making these dangerous journeys. What we need to reinforce are the messages that the migrants are sharing, those who come back from Libya or the desert and who have suffered at the hands of the smugglers. In December, the EU acknowledged that the reduced migrant traffic in Niger had not led to fewer arrivals in Europe. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.